What's going on guys? Today we're gonna finish our card matching game in the Ionic framework and by the end of today basically we'll have our finished game we'll be adding two new levels to it more difficult of course and yeah basically you'll be able to play these other levels complete them and then you're also able to use that code to create even more difficult levels all right let's start it off so in reality today we'll actually be doing no programming since we already finished with that by part three so all we have to do now is add the new levels and then copy the code from level one and change a few variables so that the correct amount of cards are displayed on screen so let's go ahead and add these new levels so you guys understand what I'm talking about. So let's stop the program. Let me go into the right folder here. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to generate two new pages. So let's do Ionic G page level 2. And then we'll do Ionic Generate Page Level 3. Alright, so let's run the program. Okay, there we go. So this is our program. This is where we left off. Basically, we have the home screen and then we have Level 1 displayed. We click on Level 1 we get 12 different cards to match and then we'll go ahead play and if we win we get a you win screen and you lose you get a you lose screen all right cool so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna basically take this code over here and copy it along to page level two so let's get started Okay, first of all, let's expand the folders for level 2 and level 3 here. Then let's open the tabs for each page, like that, and also for level 3. Alright, cool. Now let's copy. Alright, so if you look them side by side, you can see that we're actually not using any other modules here, so we don't have to import anything else. The component is also the same. So let's start off by importing all of the variables. So like that, we'll copy it. Then page two, before the constructor, like that, we'll add all of the variables. And the only thing we wanna go ahead and change is cards total. We'll go ahead and change that to 14. That way we have one additional pair of cards for the player to match. All right, let's copy the rest of the code now. Okay, we'll copy the on initialize function. Replace that. And let's copy all of the other required functions for the game to work. Just like that. Yep. So, there we go. All right, cool. Now let's copy the HTML page. So we'll go ahead and write level two. And let's copy the entire content tag here, like that, and like that. Okay, we can go ahead and save that. Now, in order to access level two, we need to head over to the home page and we need to add a button for level two. So let's do that. 
we'll go ahead and copy this iron button over here and let's add some color to the button so we know that we're dealing with different levels we'll do this one primary and then this one we'll do secondary and we'll change it to level 2 and also the text and while we're at it let's also do some nice spacing here because I feel like the text and the buttons everything is too clustered up together so we'll just add some space like that and we'll save it now we can head back to the home page here and you can see we have two buttons this time let's fire off level two and there you go you can see we have an additional pair of cards here so this already is fully working so the code already supports basically any amount of cards to be matched given you have enough images for them right so yeah let's do the same thing now for level three we'll start off with the variables again and this time we'll do two more cards so 16 cards total and if you pay attention we actually have one two three four five six seven eight so that means that eight is the total amount of pairs of cards we can have on this game unless you're willing to go ahead and add more images yourself then you can expand it to whatever number you'd like so let's continue we'll get the on init function like that and then all of these supporting functions here just copy them there we go So I've already gone ahead and changed here and I think we also should add an additional life for the player because otherwise they gotta match eight cards with only four tries so we'll do five here and if you're changing anything for the game you should also change it in the restart game function so we'll do five lives over here as well and then we have to add the HTML page so yeah, let's do level three, like that. And we'll copy the whole content tag again. Yeah. Finally, we'll add the button here. level 3 and we'll use the success color all right now let's try it out so level 1 level 2 and level 3 you can see we get the five tries that's good and there we go we have yeah 16 cards total of eight pairs for the player to match and I am guessing it works properly oh oh man I'm sucking at this game right now but it looks like everything is working according to plan so let's move on to the final steps here alright so one other thing we can add to the game is if you notice once we're here at the level page we don't really have a way to go back and you figure the user is probably gonna want to go back especially when they get a really bad start to the level so what we could do is Ionic has a back arrow button that we can easily implement and all you have to do is paste this on the toolbar 
So we have a ion buttons tag and we're going to place it at the start which is before the title and then you have to just put the ion back button and we're going to go ahead and do this for all of the other levels as well. So like that and like that. All right. So now here we are at the home of the app. So now if we go to level one, you can see there's the little arrow. So we can just press that and go right back to the home screen of the app. Yeah, looks like they all work. But yeah, guys, I guess to sum it up, this is basically the full tutorial for the card matching game. Of course, you can go ahead and make some images, make it look nice, put a little background image and do whatever you can to improve the game. Maybe add some sound effects or whatever you'd like. But one question you probably have is, well, what if I want to get this to the Play Store or what if I want to publish it for some platform? How do I do that? And I actually gone ahead and done that and I'm going to show you a improved version of this game that I made with actually I think 9 or 10 levels and a few more images I made myself. But before that, let me pull up the page to show you. So for Ionic, it's actually quite simple to publish your application. And there's a page with the steps and I will be linking it below on the description but for Android you can go ahead and run the Ionic Cordova build command and this will build your application of course it's not that simple there's a few more steps involved you have to actually generate some cryptographic uh, signature and stuff like that I'm not going to pretend I know every single detail, but I did follow along with this page and it got my application uh, published and signed, which is what you need overall. You need to sign the application after you produce the APK package, right? And then, of course, if you want to put it, let's say, in the Play Store, there is a fee you need to pay. I think it's like a hundred bucks or something and then you can upload as many apps as you like but yeah just to give you a quick heads up on that now let me get over to my phone and run my upgraded card matching game that i made to show you guys some different possibilities you can put on your own custom version of the game all right so here is my phone let me go ahead and open the app so there you go, you can see I've added a nice little background, I put a header image and I did like a bronze, silver and gold thing and I also did a record so that it shows how many stars you got out of 5 and how long you took for the level. So th those are some other features that you can add to your game yourself or if you're really curious as to how I did it and you can't figure it out you can just leave a comment below and I can show you guys but yeah just to give you an idea this is how it looks I'll go ahead and try to win one of these but it's pretty much the same thing except it has different images and, and yeah that is basically the game itself and um, oh man I'm so bad at these <laughs> but Oh, there was the pineapple so it's pretty much the same code I just went ahead and did a bunch of other levels that are incredibly difficult and I could never beat. so if you take a look here there's silver levels and gold levels I'm not sure that anyone can beat these but it's uh, you know whoever likes these type of games could go ahead and challenge level 3 here of the gold section which I'm not even sure is humanly possible to solve. But yeah, that's it. I'll leave the link for this in the Play Store below in the description as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Peace.